The newest addition to my collection is a set from 1994, Prancing Horse with Carriage. Although it came to me with the original box, the set is incomplete. Some parts of the carriage and equipment are missing, and the horse has a cropped mane and tail. While the tail looks quite good, the mane as for a Barbie horse is in poor condition. I decided to replace the horse hair with new ones. I must point out that I have never changed the hair of a mobile horse so I will improvise. The horse is made in the same way as the 1993 Sprint, so it has a switch in the tail not like the high stepper between the front legs, so that complicates things a bit. To install new hair I have to get rid of the old hair first, and I have to do this without damaging my filly. I will start with the legs. After removing the shoulder cover, the leg bending mechanism is revealed. Unscrew the visible screw. The leg could be easily removed. I'll take off the one on the other side in the same way. First I will get rid of the battery cover because I can see it's a simple matter. To remove the rear leg, you need to release the latch by pressing on the outside. There is a thickening in here that snaps into the leg guide. I am amazed, because this pin is quite solid, and I was so afraid it would break. After all, I have seen such horses more than once with their legs torn out. Oops, you got something here. I think I'll take it out so that it doesn't get lost. This is the first time I will try to do a hair replacement without opening the horse. Then let's get rid of the mane brutally by tearing it off. The mane of Barbie horses is made in such a way that the hair is sewn into a base made of a thick foil. I don't know what the professional name of this material is. Maybe if I cut the base a bit, it will give up faster. Now I can see that the things are more complicated here. Inside the neck, up to the head, there is a pin on which the neck rests, and the base of the mane surrounded it. So it was kind of double compared to normal horses which is why it was so hard to pull it out. I wonder if I can get out any more of base remains. Let's try. Okay, I gave up. I can't get it out. Now let's see the old mane. It is made of two hair colors. There is the gold red on the outside and there is something like pink blonde on the inside. It's hard to tell exactly what are those colors because they're both weird. So it's the same in the tail, also two colors. Now it's tail time. The tail of this horse is the switch for its walking function. If I damage something during this operation, the chestnut will no longer walk and will not its carriage. The tail is treated through the crossbar inside, so I will pull out the hair with small strands. There is also a safety rubber there. The mare is of such age that if the rubber has not broken yet, it will surely give up easily. And there is a rubber band, as I suspected. It gave up quickly. There is one more protection, I will cut it with a knife. Well, now it will go quick and easy.
This is what it looks like inside. There is a bar on which the tail was hooked. You can see it clearly. This is a tail and this is a mail. I won't play with the tail anymore. It goes to the trash. Here is new hair for the chestnut. I have already prepared it. I have adjusted the necessary amount and fastened it. I want to wash them first because they are very stiff, rough and have a crimped structure which makes them freeze a lot and they don't look very natural. I will wash them in warm water with a delicate fabric detergent. These are Kanekalon hair. For the first time I bought hair in a professional synthetic hair store. I ordered two colors and two types. The other hair is Hennon and it more appealed to me with a touch and appearance. But I figured that light brown would be too sad for a chestnut. The red will give her a more aggressive character. I also didn't aim for a color similar to the original one. And while I had flashes like this, I didn't want a light blonde either, because I already have a chestnut with light hair, my cripple star stepper. Theoretically, I also have a red chestnut Baya, but it's not quite so because she has two colored hair. I will rinse it in hot water and then rinse it with cold. Finally, I will soak it in water with a fabric conditioner. I will add a bit more than necessary because I want it to be fragrant and soft. It makes quite an unpleasant noise when draining, but I can see it has fewer waves. As I have already mentioned twice, here we have this bar inside, through which the hair was interwined. I would like the new tail to be mounted that way too. And this is our switch. So I still have to remember to handle it gently, so as not to damage anything. To thread the hair through the bar, I have a soft wire here. I will bend it a little and try to put it into the switch from the bottom under the bar. I will help myself with a crochet hook to get the wire out. I have a string here. I will cut a piece. I will interwine it through the loop. I will pull the wire to thread the string under the bar. I got rid of the wire. The string will be more plastic to interwine the hair. After washing and drying, the hair becomes softer, more pleasant to the touch, smoother and it seems lighter. So washing was a good idea. They were tied with ties for washing, but I have to cut them in half. So I'll get rid of the ties. And here's my mistake. Before I cut the first tie, I should have separated hair with something. And I didn't do that. I did it after cutting it by putting a crochet hook into hair and as you can see I have a little problem because the hair slipped out. Well, you can see that I improvise and now I have to sort it. I just came to the conclusion that I could just move this one tie, not cut it. Because now I need a tie again, or even two. Now I will fold hair in half again and cut it in half. My plan is that one part will be for the tail and the other part for the main. Let's get back to the horse. I have to loop the hair for the tail. It 
it's not that simple at all. I'll pull off excess hair. Well, the camera got impatient and stopped recording my father's struggles. But in the end, it worked, and the chestnut has a new tail. I said that I want the tail to be attached as the original, so I will secure it with a teether. I cut the tip off. And now I'm going to put it inside, like there was a rubber band in the past. And the tail is finished. I have some hair that fell off the tail here. I will separate thin strands from it. I do this with a very famous measure of size, which is 5 times a night. After all, I will not play with counting individual hairs in the strand. I have a separate strand. Now I check that the hair is relatively evenly arranged, that it does not stick out too much on one side and correct its arrangement if necessary. Here it looks like everything is fine. I have a thick curved thread here. I'm cutting a piece of it. I grab the strand in half and thread the thread. Now I have to tie it and to be sure, again. Such a protection is no protection at all, because the thread moves and the hair can slip out of it. That's why I check again if the hair is even. I get a strand like this, I grab a glue gun and I put a droplet at the binding side. I wait a moment for the glue to cool down and harden a bit. I want it to go between the hair and join it. When it cools down a bit and is still plastic, I try to spread it around the strand and squeeze it. And I have the first strand of hair for the mane ready. I have to prepare the rest in the same way. My plan is to put these individual strands together to create a mane. I don't know how many of them I need or how many will come out, but for the mane to be lush, I would like to use all the hair that I have prepared. All the strands are ready. I tied all the hair that I have prepared. Now I will stick them together in places where they were glued before. I figured uh, it will be more convenient to do the main in a few smaller parts. This section consists of seven strands. I put it down and start another one. I turn the first section over and correct the joining of the strands. I can get rid of the threads from the first section. The joining is flexible and it's very good. It will be easier to mount the mane. All parts of the mane are ready. I decided to add a super glue to strengthen the joining of the strands.
to mount the mane. It will be easier because the lower joint of the neck broke when I tried to open the horse. I will widen the mane slit with a plastic opening tool. Due to the fact that I applied the hot glue quite thick on both sides, a flexible bar was created that will lock the mane in a place. So I just slide the hair into the slit. I will move the previous ones to the top and I install the last one. We have a new mane and what? Which mane is better? Original or this one? I say this one. Nothing else need to be done here. The hair is tucked in so tightly that nothing will happen to it anymore. It's the time to put legs back on. First, the hind legs. At the front, I installed the pin that fell out first. I put the first leg on, remembering about the bending mechanism. I tighten it with a screw. And on the other side, I do it the same way. This leg has to be bent. I put both leads on. came back to one hole. Time for a moment of truth. I'm putting the batteries in. It works! She walks, wags her head, so everything is okay. I walk all the time. I am not walking. And I'm walking again. I am not walking. Everything is working. The operation was successful. Well, here is my chestnut and now it's time to brush out the new mane and tail. As you can see, this new mane sticks up a bit above her head. I'll fix it in a moment. The mane can be remedied by my old hair curler with a brush shaped tip. I notice that the hair straightens, by the way. Hmm. And I still haven't got a straightener. I never needed it myself because my hair is straight as wires. But now, with horses and dolls, I feel the lack of it more and more often. Well, I have to deal with what I have, which is a curling iron tip. And finally, the brush again.
if the hair is straight and so nicely, I also have to work with the tail a bit. And here is the star before the cut. I think the hair is gorgeous. This is what the sisters look like. My Queenie or Sprint, for comparison the original length of the hair and the chestnut mane is that much longer. But I have no hair to cut it, at least not today. I just need to level it. And whoops, it went out of frame, sorry. I just leveled the tail too and I noticed that it did not fit in the frame as well. The difference is, so to speak, quite a lot, but I won't cut it. The operation was undoubtedly a success. Finally, a small comparison before and after. And a few outdoor shots. 